All right, it's seed starting time again, and uh, time to pull out the bin of seeds. Uh, this year I'm using all seeds that I have left over pretty much, except for a couple new Jefferson seeds I showed you. And this video is also sponsored by Viver. Um, they did provide a grow light, I'll show you at the end. Um, and one thing I didn't show you when I showed you the seeds from Monticello was the seeds of uh, flower seeds. I was on the fence post whether I'm going to plant them or not because I usually don't do flowers other than marigolds. But I uh, decided I'm going to try planting them. And, you know, this little little thing about planting them at the end, you'll see. So I got out all my cups. See, this year I'm using some new cups. And filled them with potting soil from Costco that I always use, a miracle Grow potting soil. And there's some of the kale and stuff like that that I started a couple days ago there. And here are my Alyssa Craig onions here. They're ready to go outside once it warms up a little bit. So first thing I'm going to start by doing is um, figuring out what I'm going to put in which bin. Now the tomatoes, I decided I'm going to do about 32 plants. Cutting back some and just trying to figure out, you know, what you're going to plant of each one and, uh, you know, how they're going to fit in each container so I do put labels on each pot I used to put them on the rows but sometimes you can get them mixed up when you're moving things around in the grow tent and stuff so this is pretty much the same as always what I always do I dump the seeds out in the container now these are all seeds these are um, between last year the year before and the year before that I'm mixing them in so We'll see how they work, and I'm actually going to put about four to five seeds in each of these cups now just to be safe and hopefully get a little bit of germination at least so I don't have a problem. And I'm finding I have the best luck when I sow directly in these 16-ounce uh, cups here. Cut a couple of uh, slots in the bottom for air and water to get out. And then this little seed thing here... Um, Makes it easy to dump everything right back into the envelope when you're done. So I'm just going to, you know, go through and put all these seeds in. I'm not going to bore you with that much more planting. But you can see I do take my time and try to pick out the nicest looking seeds. And uh, just pat them down a little bit once they're in place. And then I'm going to soak some water into each cup. And as I showed you last year, I got these little adapters for a bottle, these little sprinkler can things. And they really do work nice for um, wetting down seeds and getting things started. So pretty much I'm going to go over now and do the eggplant and a couple more tomatoes in the next container. And you can see our favorite... Um, eggplant there and then gone to the last container of peppers and usually I way overdo the peppers but this year I'm limiting myself to 24 pepper plants and I have to decide which ones to uh, plant out of you know the one my favorites so pretty much I'm just going to do three four of each plant this year instead of you know half dozen like I used to do and um, you know I have to get in a couple habanadas, a couple of nata pinos, and those adjivarskis for roasting, and, you know, some green pepper, banana peppers, and stuff like that, so. Same thing, uh, pepper seeds are flat and a little harder to pick out, but, you know, I still pick them out one at a time and stick them in there trying to get the best ones, and then wet them down, and you can see I've got a um, quart bottle on this one. Now, let's take a look at the grow light now that they're all planted. Now, this was a light um, I asked Vivor if I could try one of their lights because I just wasn't getting enough uh, light out of the 200-watt one that I had that was made for the tent. And this one has really good specs with all the Samsung diodes, and it's full spectrum with, um, you know, warm, cold, red, and IR diodes, and it looked really nice and um, actually it's beautiful. It's a... Uh, very heavy there's a big heat sink on it to help control the temperature i think big thick heat sink and um really um a beautiful job they did on it. it's really clean with all the wiring and stuff you can see it's got the uh, samsung drivers in that box on top just comes with one cord to plug it in 
And there's another jumper if you want to daisy chain a bunch of these for um, controlling the brightness of it. And a couple plugs if you're not going to use that. And it also came with a couple of hangers to hang it in my tent. And um, I think this light is really going to do a better job than uh, that 200 watt I had. It just never really uh, lit the edges of the tent up right. It was... Um, it was only 200 watts, but, um, you know, it was supposedly made for the tent. And also another problem I had with the drivers were getting red hot, creating an awful lot of heat in it. Had to keep a fan on them all the time. So I figured this would be, you know, be good to try a new light and see if there's any difference. And, you know, actually these are really a nice made light at a decent price. I'll put a link to it. Um, it was real nice of Viva to let me try this out and just see, you know, how it works out here. And it does come with some nice metal brackets. I don't like those wire rope ones. The other ones I have come with. They're just a pain. So let's just take a flip it over and look at it. And, um, really beautiful job on it. Diodes are all. They've got this board really uh, potted in something to keep moisture out. It looks like it's sealed. Really nice thick layer of whatever it is. You can see it there. They did a Beautiful job on the board. Yeah, you can see the different LEDs. I'll, I'll um, turn it on in a second. Let you see. There they are. There you can see all the different, the um, the cool, the warm, and the, the IR and the red. So, you know, according to the specs in the um, that came with it, it looks like it's uh, much better specs than the light that I did have. And it's got, um, you know, just four settings on it. And here's all the hanging distance and everything else. Now, I have no way to verify, you know, the specs, but um, I'm pretty sure that viewer is accurate because they've been accurate on everything I've seen so far. So it'll be fun to compare this to the um, the other light. And, and I just uh, haven't really been happy with the, the Mars Hydro lights. I mean, they worked okay, better than the fluorescents I was using, but um, I don't think they were optimum once you get to the point where you get to a... Um, a flowering and setting fruit type stage so I put those little plugs in there because I'm not going to daisy chain it together and it does have a nice uh, good feeling knob on there for switching the uh, percentage of light and uh, they did a nice job now here's the one I'm telling you about see all the wires on there and the two drivers those things got so hot you couldn't touch it you had to keep a fan running on them and um, it's just a very you can see how narrow that light was it would those edges that kind of blocked it so it never really got light out to the edge of the tent even though it was designed to work with this tent um you know just just wasn't right so i'm hoping this will be right and the new hangers just went right up in there nice heavy hangers with it you can see just one power cord coming out of it that makes it really nice clean and that goes out to my smart thing switch i've got it on controlling this with um my samsung smart things and there's the AC Infinity fan I had to keep on to keep that other light from burning up. You know, that thing got red hot. Where This one's been on for quite a while. It's not even starting to get warm yet. But it's only at about 25% right now, which is what I'm going to run for the seedling stage. And there's that big AC Infinity heat mat that I got. Got that all rolled out, ready to go. And that's on a piece of foam insulation, too, to help hold the heat in. This light actually looks perfect for the 2x4 grow tent. And there's my controller for the heat mat. I'll show you that in a second, how I control that. And um, yeah, let's see, let's turn this thing up a little bit. And you can see this thing really is nice, even lighting throughout the whole tent. So um, I think it's going to be great. And it looks like it's very, I mean, the price on it's really affordable compared to the other ones that, that I've tried. Just a 300 watt one is actually I think a hundred bucks less than that 200 watt one that I originally bought that I showed you And um, so they're the seeds that I started the three trays. I'm putting them in there to get going and here's a thermocouple for the Temperature controller for the heat mat and you have to put that down in the dirt because when you got um, plastic bins and you've got you know foam cups and everything else the temperature is different you um, want to control the temperature in the soil not of the heat mat 
uh, the heat mat will be running a lot cooler once it comes up to temperature. Then I'm just going to set it at about 72 to start out and see what that look, looks like. And controller for the fan. And, uh, you know, again, this, this light really does look like it's going to be nice. But for seedling stage, I'm just going to put it down on 25%. You don't even really need it till they germinate, but I just like to keep a little bit of light in there. And then I'm going to put my piece of bubble wrap over there to keep the top of the seeds from drying out. Kind of helps hold the moisture until they germinate. And that's it. Seeds started. We're ready to go in uh, hopefully in a couple weeks. I'm eight weeks from the time I'll be putting them out. So, you know, it's just about the right timing this year. Sealed it up. And uh, you know, these Mars Hydro Grow Tents though, have really been holding up good. I've been happy with them. Just haven't been real happy with the lights. But anyhow, let's go upstairs again and get some uh, flower seeds planted. So these are the seeds that I chose to plant. And I'm going to try lavender again. They did give some lavender. I've never had luck with that. And then there's a couple more seeds that will be going out right directly in the soil once it warms up a little bit outside. So again, I'm just, um, you know, picking out what I'm going to plant. And one thing I realized is one of the reasons I probably never planted flowers before is because some of these seeds are the size of a grain of salt. They're really tiny. It takes forever to, to get them in. But hopefully they'll germinate and we will see in a couple of weeks. And some of my marigolds went in there too. I can't forget marigolds. Seal it up, put it on top of the refrigerator, and, you know, hopefully they'll germinate. I just want to thank Vivor for um, approving my, you know, application to try this uh, light out here. And it looks like it's really going to be a, a good light for my needs for that, you know, two by four tent. And uh, we will see how it works out. And again, you know, same thing every year. You can see them. You know, it gets kind of boring. I didn't want to go too far into planting these things, but you know, I just wanted to let you see that uh, everything has started today and. You know, hopefully in a couple of weeks I'll do an update once it's germinated and growing and we'll really get to see how that light works. So far, I really like it. And I did break down and I'm going to do some flowers this year. So we'll see how that turns out. Garden 2023, here we come. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.